Noon, a disturbing incident in Washington this morning when a driver crashes her car into a police vehicle near the Capitol building. No one was hurt, but the incident did cause police to close down some streets near the Capitol. ABC's Lana Zak has more. A stressful situation at the U.S. Capitol today. Tourists cleared from the area Capitol office buildings put on lockdown. The visitors who were here along the street were running up the sidewalk. And we heard a shot, and then a second shot, and a third shot. We heard a to total of three shots, so it's pretty scary. <laughs> the call of shots fired came in around 9.30 this morning. The United States Capitol Police officers observed an erratic and aggressive driver. Early reports that a female driver struck a Capitol Police cruiser and then tried running over other officers who were on foot around the Capitol compound. Capitol Hill police opened fire. You can see the car there with windows shattered. During the attempt to arrest the suspect, shots were fired. However, no individuals were injured during the arrest. Security officials have been on the alert for vehicular attacks, especially around high profile targets like the Capitol. The concern that would be terrorists here could try to mirror attacks in Nice and London. But in this case, the initial evidence points elsewhere. Although preliminary, this incident appears to be criminal in nature with no nexus to terrorism. So far, authorities are not yet saying if they have a motive. The FBI has been deployed to the scene to assist. The situation over, but the story continuing to unfold. At this point, there are no reports of injuries. And again, they do not believe that this was terror related. But security experts tell me that at the moment, police have to be responding to all possibilities, including that it could be part of a larger coordinated attack. Lana Zak, ABC News, Capitol Hill.